Hey beautiful Leos and welcome to your weekly tarot reading with me, Miss Machiste. Leo, we're looking into this week of January 10th to the 16th. Please keep in mind that time is fluid and check your other chart placements out on my channel. So let's get started, Leo. What do we got coming in for you for this week for my lovely lions, for my Leos? Spirit, what's going on for Leo? All right, Leo, your card is last quarter moon in Leo. Lighten up. All right, Leo. So, obviously you are here because you have Leo energy in your chart or around you. So, I don't have to really say that. So, this card says, what's happening for you right now can turn out well, but you need to find balance between the light and the dark of the situation. Get in touch with some lighter and happier feelings to clear away any energetic debris that may have grown out of your fears. That said... This isn't about glossing over any drama and pretending all is well if it isn't. A positive attitude towards life now will help clear away any upsets. Two very strong energies are at play here. All the things you fear and your vitality. Drawing this card suggests you need to lighten up a little. Happy manifesting comes from a happy place. Make a list of your blessings. When you forgive yourself, you set yourself free. <clears throat> All right, Leo. So you may have definitely been frustrated or down about certain things in your life for quite some time. And spirit really wants you to try to find the positive as best as you can to really keep your vibration high, keep your manifesting abilities high as well. So definitely some of you Leos are going to be feeling a lot better this week with this last quarter moon in Leo coming in. Oh, just a lot more positive. So let's see what your tarot has and see what this is all about. All right, Leo, we have the Page of Swords. We have the Lovers and we have the Nine of Wands. Okay, so you definitely may have been struggling with Reaching a point of togetherness with someone. So you either have a wall up right now because you are somewhat annoyed and or frustrated with someone. Doesn't have to necessarily be a romantic lover. This could be a friend. This could be a co-worker. This could be a family member. This could be anybody really. But there's somebody around you that made you have a wall up. Some of you, Leo, somebody may have a wall up towards you as well. And it's causing you frustration. But no matter what, the curiosity is still here about what could come from this connection if you two both sat in a positive level of let's be good. Let's put our walls down. Let's be a little bit more expressive. I feel like this can go either way. I strongly feel like it may be you, Leo, that has your wall up, but I'm not going to ignore the fact that this could resonate by vice versa and somebody may have their wall up towards you. So let's see what this is all about because I definitely do feel like this wall is creating tension in this connection while the other person is very curious about when you're going to put down the wall, when you're going to want to have this reconnection with them. So let's see here, Page of Swords. Some of you, this could be a new lover, friend, person trying to enter your life, but you may have been burned and bruised by a lot of people in your life. So you're a bit cautious, but you're still curious. So let's see, Page of Swords. A Page of Wands, yeah. That feel-good energy, that re-spark, that bringing back positive energy into your life or into this connection. The lovers here. Seven of Pentacles. A long time coming. Nine of Wands. Six of Wands. All right, Leo. So I feel like you and somebody were just very, 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 very just not getting along, I guess. For quite some time. 
I don't know. I feel like something occurred that caused you to be upset. Could be other way around, but this has been a long time coming and you're finally getting out of this. You're finally feeling free from the drama, free from the frustration, and you and this person are finally initiating a lot better, a lot more uplifting energy between the two of you because the Page of Swords brings the curiosity but doesn't bring necessarily the most uplifting energy. So now you two are coming into the realization that the longer we delay this, the longer we keep our walls up, the longer we're going to be frustrated or the longer I'm going to be upset. So I do feel like for some of you Leos as well, this could definitely be a newer energy coming in. It's going to make you feel good, but you still have this energy of caution. So why is the Page of Wands here? The Nine of Swords? Yeah. You don't want to feel stressed out again. You don't want to deal with this anxiety. You don't want to deal with the sleepless nights. Seven of Pentacles here. Queen of Swords. And on the Six of Wands. Seven of Cups. All right, so Leo, there is somebody coming in for you. And you're really up in the air about this energy. I feel like this person really frustrated you. That's why. Or they really pissed you off somehow. So now that they're coming in, now that they're giving you the recognition, now that they're noticing you more or they're being nicer to you or whatever the case may be, you're kind of in the position of, well, why did you do what you did anyways sort of thing? Or this is a newer energy. You're really stressing over the fact of repeating the past and giving to the wrong people. But there's definitely some sort of spark or re-spark coming in that somebody feels like they're going to use to try to break down your walls. Because you definitely put wall up. Why is the Seven of Cups here for Leo? Ace of Pentacles, yeah. And they're coming in with an offer. But this offer connected to the Seven of Pentacles comes with an energy of confusion. So... This could even be like a coworker who has been like really critical towards you and now all of a sudden wanting to be like nice to you. Maybe they're even going to invite you somewhere and you're kind of like, all right, well, you left me out all these other times and now all of a sudden you want me in or I don't know. It's just like you feel like this person should have been this way a long time ago if this is somebody you already know or a lot of you Leos feel very fearful and repeating past cycles and opening up to a newer person, friend, experience, whatever the case may be. So nonetheless, there's a message coming in with an offer on the table. You have the wall up. They're going to try to break down their, break down your walls as best as possible. So that's what I have here for you, Leo. We're now going to get your romantic love oracle. In terms of zodiac signs, I have Gemini in your spread. So some of you, this could be about romance, but we are going to get your romantic oracle now. Spirit, this is for Leo. Spirit, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and love for this week. All right, we have here pride and ego. Yep, there's that wall. We have understanding. And we have material world. All right, so your person may also gift you something or buy you something, or this person may try to win you over with some sort of gift. Let's clarify this. Or they may like just spend money on you. Pride and ego with dark night of the soul. Yeah, you're struggling. You're like, I don't want to give to the wrong person. I don't want to let the wrong person in again, or I'm not letting you have the access to hurt me the way that you did something along those lines we have understanding with crossroads so definitely a decision to make with this offer material world with abandoned yep 
No, oh, Leo, they're definitely going to try. They may try to buy you back. Mm. Let's clarify this here for Leo. On Dark Knight of the Soul, you have self-worth. Yeah, you do not want to put your own self at risk again. Crossroads with mirroring and abandoned with divine timing. All right, why is divine? Actually, we'll clarify this all again once more. Kind of just synchronizing to the spread. Spirit, this is for Leo for this week for Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus for Leo. On self-worth, we have tribe. So your spiritual, your spiritual support system coming in, helping you. We have mirroring with third party. And we have divine timing with observer. Yeah, so some of you Leos, this, per this person puts you in a third party position or somehow, some way. Possibly the third party is work. Not that they have a third party at work or possibly this person neglected you heavily for their career. And now that they're coming back in, you're kind of just like, uh, okay. Um, and some of you as well, I really feel an energy of trying to buy you back. Some of you, this may happen. Divine timing and observer. So despite whatever choices you do make, you are still curious about what this person is going to do next. Let's give this one more clarification here. here. This is for Leo for this week. Sun, moon, rising, Venus for Leo. Some of you, you may meet a lover through work as well. Or this offer is being given from somebody at work. You may not want to mix business and pleasure. We have tribe with commitment. We have third party with surrender. And we have observer with muse. Yeah. So, Leo, you have somebody very interested in you. Honestly, you may have a secret admirer at work. Third party, material world, observer, muse. Definitely may have a secret admirer at work. Others of you... This person may try to buy you back or take you out or buy you something or whatever the case may be. If you are connecting to somebody that you are a little bit with a wall up here, I definitely do feel like they're going to try to break down those walls and try to be with you here. Commitment, surrender, muse. So the choice is yours, Leo. And that's what I got for you. So thank you for being here and for watching. Have a wonderful week and I'll talk to all of y'all very soon. Bye now.